hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to understand basic understanding of the nifi gui how it's work how login and what are the terminology so first as we see in our last video of nifi installation so we have seen that we are able to login into so now let's login into that so these are the predefined generated username and password so i tried to log in with them so simply copy and pasting them and let's see yeah so i am successfully able to log in it so there are basic navigations are there here so zoom in zoom out process group details processors input port output port process group remote process group and all so all these things we will learn deeply in other videos so today just so guess how we can use the nifi ui so if we go here so anything we want to do just we need to do the drag and drop so if i need to create process group then i just need to drag and drop here and provide the name of it like test okay so like if i do add so see the process group is created so like if i do zoom out it will zoom out if i do zoom in so it will do zoom in okay if I want to go into this particular process group, then I just need to double click on that. So I will go into that group and there is processor. So in which I will just showcase you what uh, basic flow. So in which first we will get the get file processor. Another we will get the processor is put file. Okay. So here. So these two are the processors and we just connect them. It will ask for that relationship. So it's only success. So now if you want to any configuration in that processor. So just we need to do right click and click on configure. So here we need to provide that uh, path of input directory. So I will provide this input path. And paste it here. and do the apply and for output same I do give the output path copy and it's configured here apply so still it's giving me some warning so if I click on like hover on that warning so it showcases me that success relationship is invalid and also for that failure so i just uh, auto terminate it for the time being in future we will understand more on that so just i click on this terminate and do the apply then it will be successful so now just we delete this file from here and paste it here so as you can see there is in input directory there is one file called abc and in output there is blank so let's start this processor so i just do it run once just to showcase you and if i do this and start this one also run once so what it will do it will uh, copy that file from input folder and upload it into the output folder see if we go into this input folder so it's blank and output folder is filled up okay so now let's do the uh, we can start that processor so it will uh, take the file every second and I will start this also now if I go here into the input directory and create one more file uh, like document and provide it like here yeah. paste one do the enter so this file is not here okay if i do that refresh the file is empty why so our processor is running so it will move this file to here so how we can debug that that file is moved from here only so if i click on this and check that data provenance see it's 
showing me receive file and if i go more into that like view details so in attribute we can check the file name input here and see file name is new text document so we can see that uh, file is shifted by the nifi itself so yeah these are the basic thing how nifi is working and you get excited from this right in next video we will showcase more things on nifi and we will deep dive into that how it will work what we can explore more so thank you so much for watching for this video guys and also please like share and subscribe my channel so it will motivate me to create another videos